So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I make a full-time income selling used men's clothing from thrift stores. And I'm going to be showing what I pick up and how much I price my items at and all that good stuff. So you guys can get an idea of what to pick up when you're out at thrift stores, Goodwill, Salvation Army, all that good stuff. And yeah, so hopefully this video gives you some value. I got my first little bag here that I just got from Goodwill. So it's a pretty good day, a uh, good start to the day. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to hit a couple more. Uh, a couple more meaning like five to six so hopefully find some good stuff and we can have a good video for you guys so stay tuned like the video comment subscribe if you're new let's get it all right guys just getting out of salvation army and i got two bags full of stuff so i'm excited to show you guys my haul got some pretty good stuff some bolos all that good stuff you guys know what's up so i'll see you guys at the house in the ebay room and we'll go through all of it So first things first, this is probably my favorite find of the day. This is a nice Nike one-fourth zip shirt. Pretty cool, really nice. I would say probably at least 25 to 30 on that. So that's a pretty good find. And I like picking up my 49er and in like Raiders and sports team shirts that are Nike, like NFL shirts like this. These do pretty good, like 15 plus shipping. So I love picking those up. And then you guys know I love Nike. Anything Nike, I usually pretty much pick it up the jackets hoodies um shirts that are cheap you know two dollar shirts it's good filler and i just love the brand and i love selling it under armor one fourth zips these always do really good 15 to 18 on these plus shipping and i yeah, got pretty good amount of these today and then this is a nice uh adidas polo i always pick my polos up adidas under armor nike oakley you know all those brands do very well for me and then you guys know North Face, that brand does very well. Another Under Armour One Fourth Zip. And then here's another bolo to look out for, vintage, or not just vintage, but nice Wrangler shirts that have nice prints on. This one has like a nice Aztec print, so really cool. Keeping out for those, those go for pretty good money. And then we got this Salute the Service Pittsburgh Steelers Nike shirt. Salute the Service stuff does very well, especially if you can find the hoodies, you know, jackets, and the shirts even do good. And yeah, so at least I would say 18 to 20, low end 15. Then a nice center swoosh athletics uh, A's baseball shirt. Arizona Wildcats. This one did have a little flaw, but I still bought it anyways. Had a little stain or a little uh, hole right here. Not Nothing too crazy, but even if I can get $15 plus shipping, um, you know, I'll be happy with that. And my average cost of goods on a lot of this stuff is going to be $2 to $5. This is a vintage Adidas, like windbreaker jacket, classic. I always get like 20 bucks for those. Nice Nike golf shorts, nice filler shirts, Under Armour, like I say, Nike Adidas shirts, just to have in the store that I pick up for $2. And you know, I throw up for you know 12 bucks plus shipping, 10 bucks plus shipping, make a quick couple bucks profit. Then we got another one Ford zip, Under Armour shirt, uh, half or yeah, one Ford zip Nike jacket. Another uh, Under Armour, another Under Armour. Those things do very good for me. So pick those up if you can find them. Another Nike shirt. Adidas Supernova. This is a nice one, probably like 15. And then Carhartt, another brand that I love picking up that does very well. Look for their jackets, button-ups, pants. Anything Carhartt, pick it up, does good. Another North Face. Some more Carhartt. Here's another decent brand, Lucky Brand. This is a nice flannel. I'll get 15 plus shipping. Carhartt, some more Nike, more Nike. So you guys can see a trend on, you know, the stuff that I pick up. So this is the stuff I sell, and this is how I earn a full-time income, selling brands like this. Ariat's a really good brand, button-ups, pants, boots, um, jackets. You know, this is an easy $25 jacket, maybe 30 And then also, pick up your uh, rugby you know polos rugby jerseys uh make sure they're authentic adidas puma nike um this is a rugby one and also look for your soccer jerseys those do very well here's another good brand that i love picking up that does very good for me cookie street nice hawaiian shirts i always get 15 to 20 each on those a nice oregon ducks long sleeve like sweater um, really cool one and then this is a north face like one forge zip j crew i don't normally pick up j crew even though it is pretty it's a pretty decent brand this one's just uh it's lamb's wool so lamb's wool i usually pick up 
Polo Ralph Lauren. I love picking Polo, Polo Ralph Lauren. I usually get their one fourth zips, um, rugby polos. You know, this one is brand new with tags. I'm sure it has some kind of flaws because it's white, but still, I paid $2 for it, so can't beat that. And then here's a Tommy Bahama vest. You guys know I love Tommy Bahama. Hawaiian shirts, you know, jackets, anything Tommy Bahama I usually pick up as well. And then here's a Polo Ralph Lauren one Ford zip that I picked up. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I might save you um, a headache with this tip. So this brand right here, do not sell on eBay at all. Don't pick it up, don't buy it because this brand gives out Veros and it's like a newer company. It's called Grunt Style. Let me see if I can get a better visual of a tag. See Grunt Style. It's it's a newer company, but they do trip on if you sell this brand on their on like eBay. So I picked these up and I just learned about not selling this brand a couple days ago. So I wanted to show you guys. So do not pick up anything Grunt Style at all because you will get a Vero and you will get your account suspended. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more haul videos just like this one so I can do them more often. And also follow me on Instagram at adrianadler209 if you have any questions or anything like that. And follow me on there so you can get updates on things that I pick up and maybe things that I'm uploading that isn't, doesn't make it on YouTube. So go ahead and follow me on there if you have an Instagram account. I will be following some people back as well. And thank you guys for all the love and support. I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Peace.